Hey guys, Chad Trofgerben here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a character blink in Flash. Now, I'm going to assume you already have a character drawn for this. And if you don't know how to draw a character, I have a tutorial for that which you can refer back to. Also, my character is in a symbol, as well as the character's head. So we'll be working with symbols with this. And again, if you're not sure what symbols are or you haven't worked with them before, I do have a tutorial on that as well, so you can refer back to that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to go ahead and double click on my character symbol so I can go into it to edit it. And of course, now I'm going to double click on the character head symbol to go into that. So as you can see, I am now two symbols in into the head symbol. So as you can see here on my timeline, I have a pupils layer as well as an eyes layer. And those are the two layers that we're going to be working with when it comes to making the character blink. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the timeline to about 300 frames. I'm going to extend every layer in the head symbol to 300 frames. So starting with the top layer, I'm going to click on frame 300 and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of my timeline, hold in shift, and then click the 300 frame on, that, on the bottom layer. Then I'm going to right click and insert frame. That way we now have 300 frames in all the layers for the head symbol. You can go ahead and extend that or shorten it depending on how long you want the character to blink. But for now we'll just leave it at 300. Anyway, let's go back up to the eye layer. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor at around 40. 40 frames on the timeline in the eyes layer and I'm going to right click on frame 40 and insert a keyframe. I'm also going to do the same for the pupils layer. So again at frame 40 we're going to right click and insert a keyframe. So now at frame 40 what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the pupils because when he blinks we're not going to have the pupils present. Now for the eyes layer at frame 40, I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in here really quick. I'm going to go ahead and color the eyes the skin color of the character. So I'm simply going to highlight the eyes and take my eyedropper tool and just click the eyedropper to fill that in. Or you can manually fill it in with your paint bucket tool if you so choose to. Now with the eyes still highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and click on my color tab which is located right over here and I'm going to go ahead now and darken the eyelids a little bit just to kind of give them a little bit different look than that of the skin color itself. So it doesn't have to be that dark just a little bit right about there should be fine. And now I'm going to take the free transform tool and click that and I'm going to squish the eyes just a little bit kind of like this. Now again I have a very cartoony style you don't have to do the squish if you don't want to this is just what I choose to do so I encourage you to apply it to your own style you can you know tweak it however you want so what I want to do now is I kinda of want to make sure that the eyes appear to be centered when they squish and based on the previous frame it appears that they are pretty much there. So finally I'm going to take the line tool and with the eyedropper tool I'm going to select the line of my eyelid just to make sure that it's the same width and then select my line tool. I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of lines on the eyelids. First that one and then that one, just like that. So now, so far, if we come back here to our timeline, our eyes are open, they hit frame 40, it looks like they close. Now we want them to open again, of course, since he's blinking. So in order to do this, what I'm simply going to do is on the pupils layer, I'm going to right click frame one and copy the frames. And then at around frame 45, I'm going to right click and paste the frames. And then I'm going to do the same for the eyes layer. Right click, copy, 
right click, paste. So now he blinks and then his eyes are back. So if we just go back to frame one and hit enter to preview it, the uh, blinking animation comes into effect. And obviously, if we extend these frames here from 45 to let's say 50 and we preview it again, the blink is going to last longer, which I think I'll leave it at that. It just depends on what you want. And it also dep depends on your frame rate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing here that I just got doing at from frame 40 to frame 50. I'm going to right click and copy the frames. And I'm going to paste this now throughout the rest of my animation, depending on where I want the blinking animation to take place. So let's say at again at 105 or around that, I want him to blink again. So I'm going to right click with those two frames highlighted, mind you, at that frame, right click and paste frames. So then we have that go into effect just like that. And again, let's do it maybe at around 140. So just highlight both layers at that frame, right click, paste frames. Looks good. And then let's do it one more time at 210-ish. So just highlight the two layers, right click, paste frames. Now, as you're pasting frames in here, you're actually going to extend those layers out a little bit, as you can see. So you might just wanna come back here and trim that up a little bit by just highlighting those excess frames and then right clicking them and going to remove frames. So now, if we go ahead and go back to frame one and hit um, enter, we can see the blinking coming into effect. Now, of course, you can add some variation here too. Let's say you don't want him to blink, you know, hold the blink um, the same duration for each instance. So for instance, you could come here to this one and you could just simply move it over like this. So then he has a long blink and then a short one. And you can go around, go ahead and play around with that if you so choose to. Now the final thing you gotta do is you need to extend your other symbol, the actual guy symbol, the actual character symbol to 300 frames or however many frames you have the blinking animation going for. You have to do this for any kind of symbol if you're doing symbols within symbols and so on. So let's back out of the head symbol to the actual body symbol. And then we'll just simply go ahead and go to frame 300. And starting at the top layer, we'll just scroll down, highlight all the layers with our shift key, right click, insert frame. And that way he should now play just fine, just like that. Okay, and then we go back out to scene one, and of course then you probably want to extend that out to 300 frames as well, so he will play the blinking animation throughout the duration of your movie. So just to go ahead now and one more time play it, this is to make sure that it's working, and he is blinking. And there you go, that's basically how you make the character blink. And you obviously can apply this now with the character talking and walking and so on. It's pretty simple to do. You just do what I showed you in those other tutorials, except now you just apply the blinking technique to that to create a more dynamic character animation. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you guys next time.